Hi folks, today we're going to look at this rather intriguing product. It's a smart bulb. Now there's been a quite a few sort of um, interesting developments in lighting, but this is something we've not seen before. It's basically a 700 lumens lamp, which you control with your smartphone. Um, that's as simple as simple as that. It controls through Wi-Fi, gives you multiple options on on the kind of output you get from it. Not just multicolored, but also temperature, and also um, uh, activity relating to sound, your voice control. I mean, it's really um, it's almost a robot rather than just a, a simple <laughs> light bulb. As I say, 700 lumens, which is about 12 watts, works on, uh, on a standard power supply. Comes in the, this cute little, I suppose, bamboo box container thing with a little user guide. Okay, so what you need to do is to download the app, the free app that's available, and then you log in to the lamp. I, I will do it in a second when it's powered up, but just to run through quickly. And you use Wi-Fi to access the lamp directly. You can also do one-to-many, so you can control many of these um, smart lamps if you wish to do, or set up a group um, connection so that multiple smartphones can connect the, to the one lamp. So it's quite, kind of flexible, and it's quite fun, actually. Okay, here's the inlet attached to a heat, <laughs> broken down cheap old IKEA lamp shade. And uh, let me just turn it on. So default, you'll get a little bit of a, oh, there are a little, I don't know, see that green glow out of it. Now the app, free app, is quite simple to install. Just find it. And once you've done that, you'll do a search for the actual lamp itself because you're working um, wirelessly of course. That could take a, a, a while for this to happen. I may, I may, there you go, so it's found it, update one bulb. If you actually, when you actually start from this, the beginning what you do is you go into your Wi-Fi settings and you'll see the um, bulb actually in the Wi-Fi settings. So you set it up as and connect as actually the inlet and then you set it up all from there and then you go back in and run through your standard Wi-Fi and as you can see once it's set up and running it's quite quite responsive it's all fairly well documented and, and quite easy we took us about uh, 15 minutes to get this set up just trying to work our way through the documentation but it, it's not un unreasonable to use and you can add more lamps here uh, as you need to using that. Now the other bit is what you can do with it once you've got the, the lamp <laughs> working. Let me just get it, put it on again. And this is where it gets starts to get a bit crazy. So you've got the ability to change colors. There we go. So I can make it look all sort of red or green. Yeah, that's pretty normal. You can set it up to run with music. <laughs> So it acts like a little disco unit. So <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> intro. I'm not sure. Yeah, I suppose at parties, if you're really into that sort of thing, you can you can run the whole thing, play a music player, and and have your disco light running in the corner. So yeah, that's the other thing you can do with it. Um, you can set it up to run through photos. So um, so you can find yourself a, a a nice little photo, and then you can actually specify that the the lamp follows the colour. So if I move it across, I can get dark green. Well, it should be dark green, but it's not. It's kind of a strange color. Uh, white there. This is green. And up here is red. I can hear you saying, why would you want to do this? Well, because you can, maybe. <laughs> OK. As well as photo, you've got scenes. So I can do very bright, which is a very bright white, which for the maximum 700 lumens, I assume. Nighttime. It's a bit softer. Reading light. A nice festive light. Those of you who like a little bit of colour in your life. And then there's spring and cool and warm. This is the colour temperature, of course. Skin tones. And then you can go through a repeat cycle, which just gives you lots of different 
um, demo mode, if you like, which goes runs through all the, the options of, on your lamp. You also have a, a timer function, so you can turn it on and off uh, as you wish, remotely or, or without having to touch it. And a nice fi feature we think here is the sleep mode, which is set it up to dim to power off, which is, you know, you can set it for five minutes to go off, 10 minutes, 15, so you could get to sleep quite nicely with the, the lights lowering in your eyes. There's also a voice function, which uh, I, I'm not quite sure whether this is just a gimmick or whether it actually works, but if I press that, you should be able to see me making it work. No, but there again, perhaps not. I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to work anyway. Um, and finally, there's a ceiling mode which I haven't quite worked out yet. It's something to do with fast operation of, of how to turn it into different colors. Maybe that's just to have it so you can have it above your head and get instant control over it. Yeah, so. I'm not quite sure, but there you go. That's so. That's the versatility of your of your inlit lamp. As I can say, I'm I'm I've never seen uh, a light bulb quite as quite as flexible as this. Some of them, of course, are more gimmick than others, but it really is quite uh, an interesting <laughs> take on remote controlled lamps. So there you go. The the inlit the inlit lamp. <laughs> in all its glory. As usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more cool stuff like this. Thanks very much. I'm just going to play with it, I think, because I'm having fun just turning it on and off, really. Where are you? Boof, 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 boof. <laughs> Bye.